Hi everyone, so today we have an election prediction for the 2018 Senate if Hillary Clinton was elected as president, um, like president of the US, so let's just make sure this is good, yep. Uh, so let's start off with some of the states that we know are safe either way. So Washington, California, Hawaii, these are states where I don't think that the GOP can de deliver serious enough blows. Vermont with um, Bernie Sanders, Maine will come back to, New York probably going to go to Kristen Gillibrand regardless. Same thing with the Northeast except for New Jersey, that could kind of become competitive. The Republican nominee of, is Bob Hugan, a corporate executive, not necessarily going to go the best for the GOP there. So obviously, if Clinton was president, Tim Kaine would be vice president. That could easily flip to the GOP. Actually, let's start off a different way. Let's start off with all the states that the GOP has incumbents in right now. Now, Nevada, yeah, probably going to go to the Democrats in 2018. But in with after 10 years of Democrats, people will be getting tired. So... Um, let's just keep going through all the states they have incumbents in. Um, and I'm going to start giving away a few races. Obviously, they've already reached the how much they need. I'm going to start giving away a few races now. North Dakota. Heidi Heitkamp. If, even, even now, I predict that Kevin Kramer will win against Heidi Heitkamp. But, e so... Even when Clinton is going to be president, um, Heidi Heitkamp would still win. Missouri doesn't need much explanation. Over in Arizona, um, Kristen Sinema probably going to lose if Clinton is the president. New Mexico, that's a bit tricky. I want to come back to that one. Florida, easy win for Rick Scott. New Jersey, I want to come back to. Virginia, I'll come back to. Uh, West Virginia, that's going to go to Joe Manchin, definitely. Going over to Pennsylvania, mm, that, that's a bit tricky. Uh, going over to Ohio, Ohio, Indiana, those are pretty much solid GOP um, states if Clinton was the president. Um, Wisconsin, I'm going to give that one to the GOP if Clinton is president. Uh, going over to Minnesota and Minnesota's special election. Minnesota's normal election, I'm going to give to Amy Klobuchar because she has a very high, high approval rating, but special election, not so much. They don't vote down the ballot here. I can definitely see Tina Smith not winning there. Montana, again, Trump territory, a vulnerable Democrat, John Tester. Uh, Michigan, I want to come back to. Pennsylvania, going to go to Lou Barretta. Same thing in Maine, Eric, what's his name? Eric Brackey, not a great candidate, and in the normal one, probably not going to win. But hey, this is a dem uh, a GOP wave year. Let's be a bit more realistic. New Jersey, New Mexico, and Mi Michigan probably going to go to their incumbent senators. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt and say they can hold New Jersey, Michigan, and New Mexico. Going over to Virginia, because... The Democrats would lose the incumbent factor because Tim Kaine wouldn't be running because he would be the vice president. That could easily flip red. That could easily flip red. So um, final Senate makeup, um, as you can see over here, 63... Okay, 63 Republicans and 37 Democrats. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one.